Are you thinking of signing up to a raw dog food company, but you want to know what is the best option for a picky eater? Well, I've got two picky Alaskan Klikai dogs, and in this video, I'm going to give you a rundown of my favorite options within the raw dog food category based upon ordering and testing out three raw dog food companies on my Alaskan Klikai dogs. My name is Kieran, and I've got two dogs called Copper and Sky. And before I get started, I just want to point out that if you do click any of the links in this video or in the description below, we may make a small commission. None of the brands in this video have paid me to make this video. I'm purely doing it to help other dog owners who have picky eaters just like me. So with that out of the way, let's get started. If you're interested in giving raw dog food a try, the first place that I would go to is We Feed Raw. I put We Feed Raw at the top of my list because I've never seen my Alaskan Klikai dogs react to dog food like they did when I first served them We Feed Raw. Skye is traditionally a really fussy and picky eater, but she literally rang rings around me when I was preparing her wee feed raw. She finished every single meal, licked the bowl, and then even licked Copper's bowl, which she never usually does. And this consistently happened over a number of months. Some of the pros with wee feed raw is that they have a great recipe variety. They've got chicken, beef, turkey, venison, duck, and lamb. That's six different protein sources, so there's great recipe variety if you do have a picky eater like my Alaskan Klikai dogs. They store their raw food in meal pouches, which are very convenient because you can take out a couple of meal pouches, defrost them, and then serve them to your dog. It also allows you to practice portion control, so you can follow We Feed Raw's feeding guidelines and make sure that you are given the correct amount of food to each of your dogs, especially because Sky and Copper have different weight goals. That was a particular feature that I really liked. And as I mentioned, the third pro would be the fact that my Klikai dogs went so crazy for Weed Food Raw. I've never seen them so food motivated and so excited about dog food before. There are some cons when it comes to Weed Feed Raw. Of the three brands in this video, they are the only ones that really offer a customization because you do fill out a sign-up questionnaire, so that is great. But you do need to follow their feeding guidelines. So that does mean that you're dividing up the meal packet into cubes and making sure that you are feeding the right amount to your dog. Sometimes you may find that there's a little bit of wee feed raw left in a meal pouch and you have to keep it for the next meal time. It's not a big deal, but for some people that might be a minor inconvenience. Secondly, wee feed raw does require a good bit of freezer space. Seeing as they use meal packets, you're gonna have to stack the meal packets in your freezer and then keep a few defrosted in your fridge. Some dog owners might not like the idea of having raw dog food defrosted in their fridge, but I just use a container to make sure there's no cross contamination. Finally, We Food Raw cost me around $228 a month, which makes it the most expensive of the three raw dog food brands I'm featuring in this video. Having said that, Sky and Copper were so excited and so happy eating their meals, I believe it was well worth the cost. As you can see, just mentioning We Food Raw has got my dogs excited. So the second raw dog food brand I'm going to mention is Mave. Mave offer raw dog food in a frozen format. So basically you buy the bag, you put the bag in your freezer. One of the pros of Mave is that you can take the bag directly from the freezer, scoop out the required amount of food and feed it direct to your dog. You don't need to defrost. Mave says that this helps slow down fast eaters just like copper and it also is good for dental hygiene. Now Maeve don't provide a scooper, so you're gonna to have to make sure you do get this portions control correct. And I found that they provided less detail than We Feed Raw when it did come to those feeding guidelines. But the fact that you can serve it straight from the freezer is a definite pro and it was really convenient if you're a dog owner that you don't have to worry about defrosting your dog's food before every mealtime. Maeve offered different health formulations that can target specific health conditions. They've got weight and digestion, anxiety and calming, hip and joint, and skin and coat. So if your dog suffers of any of those particular ailments, then you could get Maeve's dog food and you may find that it could actually help. This health formulation aspect is something that I haven't really seen with other dog brands, so it does set Maeve apart in that regard. When I opened up the bag, I really liked that I could actually pick out the meat and I could pick out the fruit and the veg. And with a lot of raw dog food, you don't really see the vibrant colors. So that was something that really appealed to me with Maeve as well. Sky and Copper did show a lot of mealtime excitement with Maeve and for the first few of and for the first three or four weeks, they had a lot of mealtime excitement, but there was a slight caveat, and I'll get to that in a second. The other pro is Maeve's price. I had to pay $180 to feed Sky and Copper Maeve over the course of a month, which makes it a pretty affordable option if you are considering raw dog food. So what are the cons when it comes to Maeve? The cons for me would be that there's only two protein sources, beef and chicken. So there's not a lot of recipe variety there, even though they do have those health formulations. Like I said, Sky and Copper showed a lot of mealtime excitement, but I did notice after three or four weeks, they started to only eat the meat in the bowl and they started to pick out a lot of the fruit and the veg and leave it to the side of the bowl. 
I would say at each meal time, they roughly ate around 50% of the fruit and veg that was in their bowl, but there was a lot left over and it wasn't ideal as you know, as I have an inquisitive toddler in my house. So I had to make sure that I was picking up my dog's bowls and cleaning any of the mess they left to the side of the bowl before my toddler could get near it. When I opened the bag, I also felt like there was more veg, fruit and vegetables than there was meat in the bag. I probably would have liked to have seen a little bit more meat in each of the bags. Finally, they don't offer a sign-up questionnaire. Now, while they do have a calculator that you can use to figure out how much of Maeve that you do need each month to feed your dog, I felt like there was rather less customization than We Feed Raw, so it was less tailored to Sky and Copper's specific needs. The third and final option on my list would be Stella and Chewy's freeze-dried raw meals. This is actually the first raw dog food that I tried when I got to America, and it was in my local pet store, so it was really convenient being able to pick it up there. You can also order on Amazon, so it's definitely another pro because it takes out some of the inconvenience of having to sign up to a subscription plan. If you're already using Amazon Prime, you can just use your account and order your food regularly, and usually you'll find it will arrive the same day or the next day, which is pretty cool. What I also like about Stella & Chewy's is that they have a lot, a lot of different recipes. So there's lots of choice there if you do have a fussy eater like my Sky. Just like Maeve, you can serve it direct from the freezer too. I would typically leave it out for a minute or so, and then I would put it in my dog's bowl and then feed it direct to Sky and Copper, and it would be demolished pretty quickly. Uh, Sky and Copper definitely enjoyed Stella and Chewy's. There was also mealtime excitement and they would typically finish most of their meals. There are some cons when it comes to Stella and Chewy's. For example, there is no sign up questionnaire and I found it really difficult to find feeding guidelines online for dog owners to refer to. So there's less customization when you compare it to Wee Feed Raw and even compared to Maeve. Also, Stella and Chewy's is probably the most expensive of the three brands. Based upon my research, I would have to pay $65 for a two pound bag of Stella and Chewy's. And typically I would need four or five of those throughout the whole month. So of the brands featured in this video, they are slightly more expensive than We Feed Raw and a bit more expensive than Maeve. Those are the free raw dog food brands that I would recommend if you are looking for a raw dog food company to feed your dog. If you've got a picky eater like me, I would definitely recommend starting with We Feed Raw. They were a huge hit in my house. And like I said already, I've never seen Sky and Copper react to dog food like I saw them react to We Feed Raw and even my in-laws who came and fed the dogs when we were on holiday remarked about how much they loved We Feed Raw. So if you do have a picky eater and you're thinking about one of these three brands, I'd recommend starting with We Feed Raw. Now, if you are thinking about getting going with any of these brands, I do have some discounts that I can offer our Life with Clicky community. I will put those discounts in the description below and I'll also put them in this video here so you can avail of the latest and best discount that I have to offer to all of our fans and subscribers. That's all for me for now. If you have tried any of these raw dog food companies, let me know. I'd love to hear feedback from other dog owners and that can also help other people watching this video. But I'll sign off now and I'll see you in the next video.